Hello, my name is Mark Cousins. I'm a filmmaker. I made the story of film a new generation. I live in Scotland, which is 10,000 kilometers from Japan. You live away over there somewhere, but even though we're far apart, I'm very pleased to say hello and share your love of cinema. I am passionate about cinema. The first film, my favourite film of all time, is The Insect Woman, directed by Shohei Imamura. It's a brilliant film about the driving force that keeps us alive, and it's so visually beautiful. Um, the second film would be an older film from the 1940s by the famous Ozu, uh, but it's not his most famous film. It's one called Record of a Tenement Gentleman. It's about an orphan boy, and it's a great film about childhood. And my third film would be a punky film from Tsukamoto in the 1980s, Tetsuo Iron Man, uh, which is a sort of body horror film. These are three daring original films from Japan. Who are my favourite Japanese actors? I would say, like many people, I think Toshiro, Toshiro Mifune is just kind of epic, uh, a kind of mythic figure. Uh, and my favourite actress, uh, Kyoko Kagawa. 126 films, including some of the best ever made, and I was lucky enough to meet her in Tokyo. If I wanted to chat or talk to Japanese directors, living or dead, definitely my first choice would be Kinyo Tanaka. Of course, she was a great actress and in very famous films, but she was also a director and directed fantastic films. And in fact, I have her tattooed, her name tattooed on my arm. And I think I would also choose Toshi, Toshio Matsumoto because of Funeral Parade of Roses, a daring film, an experimental film, uh, a sexually original film. I think what was so good about Matsumoto was he was an experimental artist and he taught as well. So a real hero and I would love to have spoken to him. If I had to choose a place in the world that is full of the kind of memories of cinema, the fascination of cinema, I would choose a place in California called Hearst Castle. It's like a fantasy castle, almost. It has a, a gold swimming pool. It's named after William Randolph Hearst, a newspaper magnet. And in the 20s and 30s and 40s, he knew many movie stars. And some of the greatest movie stars partied at Hearst Castle. Um, Charlie Chaplin, Greta Garbo, etc. It is totally palatial a kind of extravagant, excessive, delicious place which um, shows how romantic Hollywood cinema was and how decadent Hollywood cinema was. I've lucky enough to be travelled all around the world. I've been to all over Asia and America and Europe but my favourite cinemas are in West Africa, in Senegal, in Mauritania, etc. They're often village cinemas. They aren't very pretty or beautiful, but they have no roof, so they are open air and they look like swimming pools. And I love that. I love the fact that a cinema could also be like a swimming pool. And sometimes there's one beautiful one that says in French, the cinema is the heart of the village. Isn't that a great thing to say? Um, what advice would I give to you watching my film or any film? My advice is always the same. 
watch like a child be open you know open eyed wide eyed like a child and open hearted too i hope you watch the story of film a new generation with an open heart thank you arigato Which movies have captured our times? Did the Joker unsettle you? Did the Babadook scare you? Did you feel the desire in Moonlight? The newness of a fantastic woman? Do you watch movies to be sped up? or dazzled, or to see anew. Our extraordinary times have brought us exceptional films. Movies that are not just making history, they're making our history. They're showing us who we are, what we want, what we fear, what we've lost and what we're still willing to fight for. Every generation has its stories. This is the story of us.